Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is kind of a high level overview of the users, computers, uh, and groups and how you can manage it with just the Synology itself. And then in the training that we're going to be having, uh, which if you want to sign up for that, the sign up link is in the description of this video. You can get signed up and it'll be a three hour in the weeds training on managing and leveraging this Synology uh, directory service. So uh, let's hop on over to the Synology. If you've been following along, you know that we've got this all set up with willyhow.net, net bios name of Willie Howe. But if we come in here, this is where you can see the users and the computers. Now, if you are used to managing Windows domain controllers, you should be able to see that a lot of this really looks the same. And a lot of this, this is all Samba, right? So it all comes from there. Here's my computer that I joined. You got manage service accounts. And then here's users, and you can uh, sort by users and groups. So you can see all these uh, built-in groups, and you've got uh, administrator and guest. And we could add a new user here. And, of course, we've got domain controllers. Then over here we've got at a very basic level, and like I said, we're going to get into the weeds on a lot of this stuff in the training. We've got our password policy. This would be like your default domain uh, policy. You can exclude common passwords and all that, we can do all the lockout. But what I want to really talk about on this is once you have this set up, um, there's a couple of things. So you could manage the NAS instead of me logging in as WHOW. I could now manage the NAS as the domain administrator. I can also uh, create shares. So if we come in here, and this is where it gets a little uh, tricky for some people. If we come in here and we create a shared folder, and I'm just going to call it, uh, Willie Howe, right? And next, next. We're just doing a real basic setup here. Next. Now, this right here is where it gets a little bit, can get a little bit confusing for people because you have local users and you have domain users. You also have local groups and domain groups. Like I said, you should use groups whenever you can. But here's the thing. So even though that this this is a, a domain controller, you can still have local NAS users. And I see this when we fix a lot of these in the wild because people have directory services set up. It's not working correctly. Well, that's because they keep adding users to the local users. So you have to watch out for that. So going forward, you're not going to want to use local users, right? You want everything to be domain users and domain groups. So keep that in mind. I wanted to really touch on that. Like I said, deep dive in the training. But if you've got any questions about this, I'm more than happy to uh, answer those down in the comments. So let me know. <clears throat> I know it's a little, it's a little confusing, um, but you'll get there. Practice makes perfect. So uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now, somebody did comment and said that they used to really like my channel. And uh, now that I'm doing like two weeks worth of Synology videos, they don't think they're going to stick around. Well, you're going to want to stick around because next week, I'm bringing back router and switch videos in a big way. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, share. Uh, if you want to support the channel, our affiliate links are down below. The training link is down below. Patreon link is down below. And of course, if you need IT consulting for help on this or any of the other services that we offer, go to willyhow.com, click hire us, contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch, touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.